Hi, you can see here that I've created sex ratio. Sex ratio, I did this using calculate new field, adding new fields and then calculating a new field by computing the ratio of the males to females times 100. And you can see the spatial patterns attached to this. Now I wanna make a map out of this. And what I can do is I can go to insert, new layout. And I have all of my selections right here, but I'll make this simple. I'm gonna to go to letter. And now you can see a new layout. Now a layout is gonna be the actual piece of paper that we printed out on because I can actually export that graphic, but it doesn't have essential elements of map design. And these map uh, design elements might mean, mean a title, north arrow, um, scale bar, or whatnot. And so under map frame, go to map frame. I'm gonna click on this particular map frame that we're working with, map number one, and I'm just gonna open it up here. And you can see the map frame that I I have right here okay. and I can click on activate and so I can activate this map frame and just zoom in a little bit and go back to layout and close activation so now I'm working with this uh, working with this layout right here okay now under insert I can add anything that I want here now I can add a north arrow and here's my north arrow right here and if I right mouse click, I can change the properties for the background, size of the font, and all these things. So you can have a good opportunity to, to go and add these in however you see fit. I can go to insert a uh, legend. So I'm going to put my legend right here. And here's my legend. And then I can right mouse click and I can click on my properties and see what I want to be added to my particular legend. So my legend items. Oh, I don't want the layer name here. I don't want that. Do I want the headings? Yes or no? I probably want the headings, sex ratio, the, the other things that I, I do want to add as well. And so now I can add these. Now, in addition, on the layout, it has a legend over towards my left where I can, I want to remove this from my legend. I want to remove, or I can drag down and put the major cities uh, uh, at the bottom of it since sex ratio is the main thing that we do want to look at here. And so I can also change the background or, or do whatever I do whatever I need to do here. Uh, I can add some items here. Okay, and I can take title of my map. And I can move these all around here. There it is center these or, or do whatever I need to do. So I can add all the essential elements of map design, change the backgrounds or whatnot. But under share, I can share this layout. Now these days with ArcGIS, I can publish these to ArcGIS online or I can create these map project files that I can give to you and so that all the data are stored into one particular place here. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna export this layout and I'm gonna export it as a, a JPEG 300 DPI, and I'm just going to store this, I'm going to call this Tim's layout, okay. and then DPI stands for resolution, dots per inch, so I can make this 400 or more or less or whatever. I can store however I want to store the format however I want to store it, and then I can click this export button. And while I'm doing that, now I've created a JPEG. So now when I want to insert this into a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation, I can go to insert pictures. Okay. And I want to insert this from uh, where I'm storing my pictures at. So you can see I've just stored this uh, layout right here. And then here it is. Okay. So you can see the map that I created here is now going to be the map that I've created here. And then there's a number of different ways that we can share these. I can manipulate this legend element. I can change the properties. I can change the background. So please look at the you know, text symbols or whatnot. But I just want to talk about the real basics of making a map layout because I could export this here, but it's not going to have these elements of map design. It's just going to have this actual graphic or I can do this as a screenshot and then we can store this as a JPEG and kind of cater this or however we see fit.